please subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any hot reviews. Hey, I'm Mike Jack and this is Hot Reviews. Hey there, Pepper Pals. So I just got this box of peppers sent to me by my pals over at uh, Pepper North. Uh, Drew Stevens, thanks for sending this package. Uh, it's so awesome. Uh, our garden actually uh, got kind of wrecked. It's like unusable because uh, if you haven't heard, there was an explosion just on the uh, other side of our fence there. Uh, house exploded, uh, two other houses caught on fire. So the city inspector said that our garden is like toxic and we shouldn't uh, eat anything out of it. I uh, also noticed uh, the animals around. There's, we have a groundhog and some raccoons that usually uh, eat a lot of our tomatoes and squash and stuff. They aren't even touching our garden, so I think that they know that something's up. But anyway, I got this wicked box here from Pepper North. I'm just gonna show you a couple of the peppers inside here. So, check out this Carolina Reaper. Isn't that a crazy Reaper? It's so huge. There are some big peppers in here. This is like one of the biggest ghost peppers that I've ever seen. Look at that. It's crazy. But the pepper I want to show you guys today, there's this pepper I've never seen before. I've never heard of it. It's called a uh, Brazilian starfish. So check out this pepper here. Look at that. Doesn't that look just like a starfish? It's a Brazilian starfish. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Anyway, this is a pretty cool looking pepper. Uh, looks like a starfish on the bottom there. Um, on the top, it kind of maybe does a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's a pretty crazy looking pepper. To be honest, when I first heard of a Brazilian starfish, I didn't think that it was a pepper. I'm pretty sure though, if you go to a beauty salon and ask for a Brazilian starfish, they're gonna wax your butthole. Drew Stevens at Pepper North told me that these peppers aren't really that hot, but they taste really good. So heat wise, these guys get up to a whopping 15,000 Scoville heat units. So really not that hot. All right, so I'm just gonna uh, get a little taste here. Yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really picking up any heat at all. Pretty, uh, pretty full looking pepper inside. Quite a bit of seeds there. It is a good tasting pepper. It's, uh, sweet. It's kind of like a bell pepper, but uh, yeah, I'd say, it, I'd say it's a bit sweeter, like maybe a bit juicier as well. Kind of fruitier than a bell pepper, but yeah, it's not really, it doesn't really taste like a super hot or not even like a habanero or anything. It's more like a, uh, more like a sweet pepper. Yeah, it's good pepper. I'm totally gonna just cut some of these up, put them in a salad, stir fry. Who am I kidding? I, I don't eat salads. I'll put this in a burrito. Tacos? I like tacos. Pick it up, put it in some uh, pasta sauce. That's what I do with sweet peppers, I guess. Yeah, I guess uh, Drew Stevens was right. He said um, he said they're not hot, but they taste good, and that's uh, what they are. So uh, yeah, thanks again, Drew, for these peppers. 
Yeah, that's a that's a good pepper for sure. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, when I looked it up, it does say that it is a hot pepper. Uh, it goes from like I guess 5,000, 15,000 Scoville heat units, but really, I'm not even. I'm not picking up like the slightest bit of heat at all. Like um, I'm saying, it's. Uh, it's like less hot than a uh, jalapeno. It's a pretty tame pepper, but it looks pretty awesome. So yeah, that's cool. So thanks for watching Hot Reviews, and we'll see you next time.